not this thing is dried out, this big TV. So I was talking to Ozzy50 and he said just plug it in and see what it does. So I'll do that soon. What do you know? Found another one. Um, the screen's perfect just because directly under a fluorescent light you get that in the middle. It even came with a remote. Isn't that magical? And it's a Mitsubishi brand. My friend came and said, oh, it's a big wide one. I said, oh, it went around the corner. So I took that Magna for a test drive. It's still here, the one I did the head on. And came back with a TV. So, I plugged it in. Pushed the button. Oh, would you look at that? Actually works. I uh, pushed the test button. Would you look at that? It actually works. And just remember, you're under a fluorescent light here, so that's why it's getting that fuzz. But that, that's good. So, I think the reason why it actually works, because it had that on there, working free. So, no, that's a find and a half. It's one of those rear projection thingamajiggy. So, uh, I'll find a good home for this one to go to. And the other one will end up at Aussie 50s either way. So, that's just cool. I like that. Bloody big, I tell you. Right next to that little Datsun again. Hmm. It's got all that rubbish on it. Made in Japan. I suppose that's a good thing. But yeah, alright, cool. I'm about to plug this TV in. I figured I'd just have the camera going just in case something bad happens. So I'll put it there and I'll, uh, um, yeah. Well, I can hear high voltage. Something's charged. Alright. Uh, I'll go and push the button on the front. Something unhealthy with this one, as we already know. Hang on. It's very hard to see. See if I can move it a touch. Um, hmm, let me see if I can get it to do something. Menu. Here we go. Magical. Just as Ed said it would be. Hmm, that could be interesting trying to watch some TV on that. Oh well, it's stuffed. There we go, Z50 is something for you to play with. <laughs> That's it from a distance. That's a wee bit messed up. Oh well. 